Open up on seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. The iron holds in your balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet & Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim! You're here! I... I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh-huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank! Ladies and gentlemen, the savior of Solana, Captain Quark! Hello, Veldin! Hello, Captain! He's on fire again. I know. My name is Copernicus Quark, and yes, that was an impressive wall of fire I just walked past. I'm gonna be real with you folks for a moment. When President Fyronix recommended I take on a new ranger, I knew just where to go. That's right. We want you! Yeah! I know what you're thinking. Do I have what it takes? After all, you may not have prevented Dr. Nefarious from atomizing Illyro City. You may not have stopped Neptune Prague from rendering the entire population of Iridia colorblind. Twice. After all, you may not have this chiseled jaw or godlike pectoral region, but if you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. But I have heart. Yes, but unfortunately that heart is encased in a weak, muscleless mass of inexperience. Plus, there's your history to consider. Got a long line of citations here. Possession of an illegal gravity repulsor? Operation of a black market accelerator? Willful disruption of the space-time continuum? <laughs> that is a funny story. You're reckless. You're a loose cannon, and you're dangerous. That's my shtick. Wait, go just give me a chance. All right, no time. Galaxy in jeopardy. Get back out there. And remember, you can do anything. As long as you're me. Next! Meanwhile, on planet Quartu... Dr. Nefarious, the mad scientist who made all of this possible. 
Mad suggests cognitive impairment. I'm more of a vengeful scientist. I trust you're here to meet the troops. <laughs> State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers. State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers. State your prime up. Hmm. Hello. Defect detected. Preparing for immediate destruction. In three, two. Oh, a defect. Go play, Victor. Computer, set coordinates for the Galactic Ranger home base. Destination set. We will never make it, but hey, what are you gonna do? Oh dear. I'll never be a Ranger. <sighs> Shell damage. Sister board appears to be intact. I must get to Alero City. Dad. They are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Hang on. Slow down. You've been in a crash. What do you say we get you back to my garage? I'll run a diagnostic and have you fixed up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B54296. Uh, maybe I'll just call you Clank. My name's Ratchet. Uh, up and down. Yeah, there you go. You're a natural. Once they were safe, Clank explained Drek's plan to attack the Hall of Heroes. With the Galactic Rangers out of the equation, Ratchet knew he had to help, even though neither he nor Clank had the upper body strength necessary for hero work. I can totally help. Oh, I could not ask a civilian to get involved in something so dangerous. Well, no, I'm not just a civilian. The Rangers are actually my, uh, friends. Why do you think I have so many pictures of them? But why are you not in any of them? Well, someone had to take the picture, right? I mean, come on. I even have a ship. It disassembles so it can infiltrate enemy strongholds. <laughs> so what do you say? That's strange. I'm picking up something from Navalis. It appears to be some sort of distress signal, but it is being jammed using a Blargian signal dampener. The computer would have told us if we were in any real danger. Fatal crash imminent. Would you like to record your last will and testament? Admittedly, that's not super promising. Oh dear. More of them. That must be the mayor's ship. Thank you. I thought we were done. 
done for sure. We are happy to be of assistance. Why is Drek trying to kill you? It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this infobot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Bogwash! Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia, and boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone! Call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people! Call someone who cares about me! I don't wanna die! Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drax forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargian dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here infobot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swabbed it from one of those black soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G Dread ship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not, but most definitely was caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? They don't know we're coming! So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you! Drek Industries is not working for you. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Drumbo! Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know, they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. We're too late. The invasion has started. Scan the emergency channels. We need to find out what's happening on the ground. Attention, all units! The Hall of Heroes is under attack! Repeat! Enemy ships are now in the central district of Illyro City! Galactic Rangers are under heavy fire at the Hall of Heroes. And there's a Blarg transport closing in fast. Brace for Warbot reinforcements, Rangers. All civilians, evacuate the area! Let's give these heroes some breathing room. I'm happy to field all questions on their behalf. Dallas Wanamaker here. Uh, does this mean you'll be asking these two heroes to join the Rangers? Say what now? 
<laughs> well, I don't see why not. And that is how dumb luck helped a rookie Lombax take out a Blargian warship. That wasn't no dumb luck. He and that robot made a great pair. That's enough out of you, solitary Bill. Sheesh, you give a guy your pudding cup once, and then you can never get rid of him. So, what happened next? Well, Drek didn't take too kindly to having his plan ruined by a Lombax and his robot pal. So he sent Blargian mercenaries to take them out. Right, pal? Holy cow. I've died and gone to nerd heaven. Look at this. They have my blaster runs hot. Fungoid with a stick. Oh, Spiro the Space Moose. They even have the mega limited ultra edition of Intransigence Fall of Blarg. <clears throat> that one comes with exclusive content if you pre order through Gadgetron. I take it you're the ones Cora called me about? The ones in need of a new helipack upgrade? You must be Big Al. It is nice to meet you. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Well, any friend of Cora's is a friend of mine. She and I kind of have a will-we-won't-we we romance in progress. Uh-huh. Hop onto my workbench. I'll get you all squared away. Come in. We're arriving at the Hall of Heroes. Copy that, Ratchet. I'll meet you at the front entrance and we'll begin your training. We've been cleared to attack Drek Industries in three days. That means you two are getting the accelerated course. Ha! That's right, lives at home 472. What's the matter? Don't like getting your butt kicked! Hey, Alaris. Uh, hi, Rax. Alaris here is in charge of developing our gear and providing tactical support. Usually it's the former. The Rangers are the shoot, first, think later type. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to sound like that. Like what now? Come on, I'll show you around. Let's go, cadet. Time to make you a ranger. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun! Your protosuit is the most advanced combat armor on the market. And it comes in all the latest fall colors. Sweet. This is awesome. So what next? Halo jump into enemy territory? Suborbital combat training? In time, rookie. Next up is basic training. The captain designed this fitness course to help us reach our top physical condition. Good luck. Since you're now... one of us, I thought it was time to get you a new ride. Whoa, a Class G Star Jumper? Is this for me? Technically, it's Galactic Ranger property, but if you survive, uh, complete this super secret yet completely on the level mission, she'll be yours to use however you like. What is this secret mission? I call it Operation Falling Star. Congratulations, Cadet. You've been selected for Operation Falling Star. Galactic Ranger Intel tells us Chairman Drek has a state-of-the-art weapons lab in Nebula G-34. Your mission is to destroy his top-secret project without, and this is important, telling anyone. Ever. Seriously, this is our little secret. Sure, but I don't see why... Please save your questions until the end of the presentation. You'll need to access Drek's laboratory using a trespasser, your wits, and the kind of fortitude normally found in more... Season Ranger. Get in, destroy whatever he's working on, and get out. I'll monitor your position from here. Good luck. Oh man, am I happy you two dudes showed. I've been out here all night. I can't believe it. Skid McMarks. I have seen every one of your races. You pulled off a triple Nova spin at Mach 2 at last year's Kerwin Cup. It's always good to meet a fan, little dude. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Your uncle received your infobot and asked us to assist you. 
Oh, I was wondering if he got that. My agent and I have been running from those blog all night. Only we ended up getting separated in the chaos, and I took a gnarly fall getting out of the Skid McMark sports shack. Hey, think you dudes could clear out the sand shark so I can get to my ship? Give me my hoverboard if you do. Whoa, a real McMark's 4000? Consider it done. That was pretty awesome. Thanks for your help. Here's your hoverboard. Whoa, and it's autographed. To Ratchet and Clank, the chillest dudes I've ever hung out with on a hostile alien planet. <gasps> cool. Will you be able to get home on your own? I'll be okay, though I don't think I'll be able to compete in the Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition. Kind of a bummer, dude. Hey, you must be the two heroes who saved my client, huh? Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Socket and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Right, right, beautiful. Sprocket and Plank. I like the sound of it. Real marketing potential. I could sell that. Uh, listen, my client and I got separated in our somewhat hasty trek back to the ship. I'd go meet up with them, but this place is crawling with sand sharks. Uh, think you can help me out? You have nothing to fear, sir. The sand sharks have been dealt with. Beautiful! Beautiful! You two have heart! I can sell that. We are always happy to assist. We really appreciate you helping us out. So where are you off to now? A hospital, I guess. Gotta get this lead checked out. A hospital? Skid, come on. You've been through worse. Uh, what are we gonna do about your sponsors? Um, I'm beginning to think you don't, like, care about me or whatever. <sighs> Fine. Uh, what about you, Wrenchy? Ratchet. Exactly. You wanna be a hoverboard star? This infobot will give you all the details. Just tell him Don Wonderstar sent ya. It's that time again. The annual Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition on Planet Rogar. Are you a young thrill seeker looking to show off your hoverboard skills? Then blast on over to Rilgar and experience the pulse-pounding thrill of doing Mach 3 on a rocket-powered piece of plastic. How exciting is the race? Just listen to some of our previous champions. I never miss the Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition, uh, except for next year's. I probably won't make that one. I can't feel my toes. Is that normal? <laughs> We're offering cash prizes and hollow cards to the winners. So head to Planet Rilgar and take a shot at the most extreme sporting event in the galaxy. And uh, try not to die. Hey, I'm Starlene. Are you here for the race? You know it. <laughs> Enthusiasm. I like it. All right, head inside. The first race starts in a few minutes. Nice work. You're the first Lombax to ever win a race. Come back anytime. They're always giving away cool prizes here. Perks to being sponsored by Gadgetron. Psst. Hey, pal. You got any of them Rhino Hollow cards? What's a Rhino? Only the most powerful super weapon in the galaxy, Chief. Stands for Rip You a New One. See, the Gadgetron guys, they knew the plans would be too dangerous to leave in any one location. So they split them up and printed them on a bunch of hollow cards. Me and my associates would very much like to acquire these hollow cards, and thus, the full plan. And let me guess, if we give you all the hollow cards, you'll build us the weapon. That is correct, my industrious friend. Here, take this trespasser. It may help facilitate the acquisition of said merchandise. Attention intruder! You have entered the testing facility for a Blargian Snaggle Beast! Chairman Alonzo Trek thanks you for your sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, Captain, did you know Drek's secret project was a Blargian Snaggle Beast? Oh, it is! I wonder why it wasn't in any of my intel. What did you teach me? Captain? Oh boy. I yield! I 
yield! Please, don't hurt me! <sighs> Tell us what... Tell us what you have... Hang on. <sighs> Tell us what you know about Drek's plan. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah, what did he say? I can give you this info bot. <sighs> you watch this one, pal. I'm just gonna take five. Greetings, Blarg imbeciles. If you're watching this infobot, you've been selected for the beta trial of my latest invention. GSK-81, get back! Though initial testing had a few small setups, I'm happy to report that I worked out all of the kinks. Now you can use your XK-81 jetpack to traverse the sky, giving you an advantage over those morons on the ground! The XK-81 jetpack. Come pick yours up at our base on Gaspar. Dr. Nefarious is not responsible for death, dismemberment, or irreparable injury to your central nervous system. Unauthorized weapon removal detected. Self-destruct sequence. and the warbot from the news. Oh, and you must be the faceless minion helping Drek terrorize the galaxy. That's just my day job. My real passion is in amateur neuroscience. I've been collecting brains from telepathopuses as a hobby for about a year now. You collect brains as a hobby? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you're single. Studying brains is a noble pursuit. If I can tap into the psychic powers of these telepathopuses, I'll be able to raise an army. Then we'll see who thinks they can steal my food out of the company fridge. I mean, I can contribute to the good of all blog kind. Say, if you can collect a few telepathopus brains for me, I'll give you this jetpack. A deal's a deal. Here you go! I tell you what, I actually have a top secret Drek Industries info pot. If you bring me a few more brains, I might be willing to part with it. You really have a thing for brains, don't you? Yes, I do. The Telepathopus army is as good as mine! Here's your info pot. Remember, you didn't get it from me. Good evening, fellow blog. Chairman Trek here, with the latest update on our quest for a new home. Over the next few days, you may notice an increase in Blarg activity around the galaxy. While this may alert the authorities to our plan, this move is critical to securing safe passage for our harvesters. Case in point, the Starwatch defense cannon on planet Batalia. This surface-to-space ion cannon has been protecting the galaxy from invasions ever since we were first driven underground. With this out of commission, our glorious plan can continue! Preparations are already underway, so fear not, stay the course, etc., yada yada yada. Once we eliminate Starwatch and its surrounding forces, we'll enter the final stages of my plan. <laughs> We've got to stop Drek from destroying that Starwatch defense cannon. My records show that the cannon is on the planet Battalia. I just hope we're not too late. If you're looking for a little extra work, I'll pay a nice reward for collecting any remaining brains in this area. If you find them all, I'll even throw in a special bonus. Hey, Ratchet. Grim here. Been following your adventures, and I couldn't be happier for you. Listen, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I have a brother on Pokotaro. His name's Felton. We don't talk much on account of him being a bit of a slacker, but he sent me a distress call this morning. He said Trek was attacking Pokotaru with these Hydro Harvester things. I guess the Blarg want their ocean water for something. I tried calling the Rangers, but Captain Quark kept directing me to his agent. Anyway, if you have a moment, could you swing by and check in on him? Thanks, kid. I'm proud of you. Those 
laser turrets could be a real problem for us. We're gonna have to find another way inside. You take point, I'll cover you. They're retreating! We did it! That's what Drek gets when he messes with the Galactic Rangers. Yeah! Woohoo! water supply in the galaxy. Initiate the hydro harvesters and sap this planet dry. Copy that, German. You heard him, team. Activate all harvesters and deploy ground teams. If anyone here gets close to those harvesters, buy some. Well, dip me in breadcrumbs and feed me to a snaggle beast. Grim told me he was friends with the Lombax, but I didn't believe him. I've never seen one in real life before. You must be Ratchet. This is so weird. The resemblance. It's... It... Uncanny, I know. Grim asked us to help you destroy Drek's hydro harvesters. If you're gonna destroy those things, we're gonna have to upgrade your ship. It just so happens the best upgrade guy in the galaxy is here for a comic book convention, right? Follow me, I'll take you to him. Hey, Ratchet, Clank! Small galaxy. How's my lady Cora doing? Yeah, she's good. Uh, listen, we're here to help take out these hydro harvesters. You think you can help us upgrade our onboard weapon system? Always happy to help the Galactic Rangers. How about a Tesla Blast weapon kit? It uses polarized electroemitters to increase propulsion by 128.7%. Even a raritanium hull is no match for those babies. Sounds like exactly what we need. You lead the way. We'll cover you. Here we are. All right, let's pop the hood and get you that weapon system. Reinstalling weapon software. Rebooting system. Done. Tesla Blast weapon kit detected. Happy hunting. What are you waiting for? Take out those hydro harvesters. Remember, normal ammunition won't damage those hydro harvesters. Use your Tesla rockets. Shoot down those Blark saucers. They'll drop ammo and health for you to pick up. That was incredible! Say, if you two need any more upgrades, I'm your guy. How about a new thruster pack? I just downloaded the Hollow plans last night and they are... Wait! Hmm, that certainly sounds useful. Recalibrating the avionics port, updating the software, updating, still updating, and presto! She's all ready for you. Technically, you need a Class B license to operate one of these beauties. But what the heck? You two are Galactic Rangers. All right, Rangers. Our plan of attack is simple. Halo drop into Skorg City. Fire a whole mess of bullets and take Drake into custody so we can be home in time for waffles. Mm-hmm. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, waffles! Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's our plan? Yes, it is. Pardon me, Captain, but Chairman Drek is cunning. He will be prepared for our assault. Look, I think it is beyond adorable that you decided to do all this homework. But big heroes do big things. Let's take a vote. All those in favor of kicking in Drek's front door with a massive arsenal and restoring peace to a galaxy in turmoil, say aye. Aye! All those in favor of nerding it up here with some pie charts, say nay. Nay. Motion passes. We assault Drek Industries tonight. Lock and load, Rangers. Shoot up and rally in the aft airlock. All right, team. Let's bring it in. Remember, our target is Chairman Drek. Ready, Rangers? On the count of three. Three! Keep up, rookie! All right, pal. You ready? Well, I am. Uh... Ah! Woo! 
Engaging motion scan. You can all relax now. I'm finally here. These are plans for something called a deplanetizer. Deplanetizer? Why would Drek be destroying planets? Not destroy. It seems that Drek is trying to build the perfect planet. Populated. Yes, 43,618,924 people to be exact. The snorkel says had twins this morning. We gotta move. But you're ready to run. So what's the plan, Captain? Huh? Oh, oh, the plan. Yes, here's what we're going to do, Rangers. I'll go in first and try to reason with this Drek character. See if we can talk this out mano a mano. Talk? I don't follow, sir. Sir, he's blown up five planets already. I think we're done talking. I'm going in. Captain Wayne, something about the way we should... Oh! Is it me, or does that plan just seem... Idiotic? Hey, I'm sure Quark knows what he's doing. Victor, the Galactic Rangers have decided to crash our party. Be a sport and show them a warm welcome, would you? With pleasure, Chairman. That's Victor. That was my best death ship. You'll pay for this, Lumbax. Their defensive fire is too strong. Pull back! Your fighter won't make it! Big heroes do big things. <gasps> he made it! What was that? I do not know. I will investigate. Probably just the ship settling. Thing to be alarmed about. Whoa! Oh my. Fire suppression system activated. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> Bravo, my boy! Bravo! <laughs> I deal with my share of morons on a daily basis, but this? This is seriously next level. 
I never had a proper planet. I spent my formative years underground, where everything was dark and wet and hot. And I was like, warrior? No, I said I was a warrior. <laughs> I worry about everything. I will. Oh, hey. Quark? This is awkward. <laughs> I want him to live to see his failure. Commence deplanetization! Well, here's your ID. Welcome aboard. Captain? Huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks. The Navalians were able to evacuate in time, but billions lost their homes. You helped Drek destroy a planet because you were jealous of Ratchet? Oh, that's cold, even for me. Not my coolest moment, okay? I was confused. I thought I was doing the best thing for the galaxy. Hey, you were doing the best thing for you. Nobody asked you, solitary Bill. Then what happened? In the Hollow film, Ratchet ended up drifting in deep space for like weeks until he finally managed to assemble a gravity drive using an old ham radio and a banana. Never happened. In reality, he just went home. In the wake of Novellus' destruction and Captain Quark's shocking betrayal, Galactic President Phyronix has issued a galaxy-wide alert to all Solana citizens. I'm not going back, Clank. This is where I belong. You were right. Fame is overrated. Especially when you're famous for causing a complete disaster. It was not a complete disaster. Authorities are calling it a complete and utter disaster. As... The evacuation of Novellus was successful. No one was killed or injured. But those people lost their homes. And for that, I have to take full responsibility. Blaming yourself and taking responsibility are two very different things. If you truly want to be accountable, you will endeavor to make things right the next time. Next time? Drek has one more target on his list. With Captain Quark now working for the enemy, the Rangers need you more than ever. And I would like to offer my assistance in any way possible. Partner. Well, partner, how about helping me find my proto suit? It's good to have you back, Ratchet. Thanks, Yolaris. What's the latest? I managed to decrypt Nefarious' files from Drek Industries. Bad news. His next target is Umbris. The core of Umbris is pure tetragen. Detonating it would be disastrous. According to the Solana Celestial Calendar, there is a major conjunction of every planet in the system tonight. If Umbris is destroyed, it will take the entire system with it. Dr. Nefarious has just been using Drek. He wants the system destroyed under the Ranger's watch. I have a plan to destroy the Deplanetizer for good, but this time we'll need to take a more covert approach. I'm going to need a few things first. Head to the Gadgetron headquarters on Kalibol 3, and I'll send you further instructions. I don't believe it! Ratchet and Clank here at Gadgetron! The name's Wendell Lumos. I'm the CEO of this fine company. Huge fan of your weapons, Mr. Lumos. Listen, Clank and I are on a mission to save the galaxy, and we need one of your hollow guises. Hmm. I'm afraid we're out of that product. Those darn Blarg have been raiding our stockpiles. <laughs> Minor security issues. Certainly nothing to make public. We still have the prototype, but it's now a prize in our hoverboard competition. Are you still accepting new competitors? Of course, but as you can see, we're having a little bit of a flood problem. The blog bombed our dam this morning. I don't suppose you have a hydro displacer, do you?
Congratulations! Here's your hollow guys. Do me a favor. When you use it, post your thoughts on the social medias. The kids love their social medias. Hashtag Gadgetron. You need to polish the segue. Rick, that. I want to talk to you. <gasps> you tried to kill my rangers. You said you'd leave them alone. And I meant it at the time. I detest bloodshed as much as any blog, but sometimes sacrifices are necessary for the greater good. I know you're working with nefarious on this. Yes, isn't it wonderful? We're all part of the same dream team. <gasps> we should make t-shirts! You're making a big mistake. You have no idea the kinds of evil he's capable of. Uh -oh. Do I feel my ears burning? <laughs> and there's a little juggling psychopath now. You died in a prison escape. There were witnesses. Oh, people will say and do just about anything for the right price. What was yours, Quark? What was your price for selling out your friends, your face on another cereal box, perhaps? <laughs> Why don't you run along? So the chairman and I can get back to the business at hand. <laughs> that was fun! And t-shirts would be a good idea. Good for morale. What do you think, Naffy? Should we... <laughs> <laughs> Sheepinator. One of my personal favorites. It's time for a change of management. <laughs> Happy trails! Warning, gravity stabilizer deactivated. Remember, that core is nuclear, so be careful. What was that? Uh, nothing. We're good. Greetings, cadet. I'm... I'm sorry. I don't know how things got this far. This is just pathetic. Nefarious. Give it up. It's over. As head of the Galactic Rangers, uh, he's here to place you under arrest. Me? Absolutely. Arrest this man. Over your dead body. Oh. <laughs> Mag boosters engaged. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Deplanetizer now online. Quark, don't let him turn it on. <laughs> You has been? <laughs> you know, maybe Drek was right. I am a mad scientist. You ruined everything! Warning, now entering a 
any ideas? Hmm. We must find one of Drek's teleporters. I saw one on the bridge. Watch out! Oh. Hang on, boys! It's here! Hit the brakes! Quark! Oh no. I can't reach you in time! Just get up while you can! Teleporter charging. What are you doing? Improvising. And that, my friend, is the story of my heroic redemption. The end. Wow, that was a heck of a story, Captain. I even rooted for the heroes. Normally, I hope they, uh, you know, die. Well, that's touching. <sighs> Captain? Hey, Ratchet, Clank, how are you guys? We are doing well. We just came here to visit the Rangers. Yeah, Alaris invited us over to try out some new weapons and, uh, uh, um, you know, just boring old stuff. <laughs> uh, how are you? Great! Good. Fine. Yeah. Prisoner escaping. Prisoner escaping. Prisoner escaping. What did I tell you? No prison can hold ship helix! <laughs> Ready, pal? Always. Hey, you coming? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>